Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with One's Abundant Game, and today we're going to look inside the box of Scythe, the Wind Gambit. It's an airship expansion and a resolution expansion for the Scythe uh, 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 worker placement game from Stegmeier Games. Um, of course, you got the beautiful artwork by Jakob Rosalski, and uh, this adds seven airships. Um, my understanding is it helps move, uh, gives you new strategies as you can move uh, your workers around uh, and spread out a lot faster. So, already taking the shrink off, and we'll now look at what is actually inside. So, you start out packaged excellently, as always, is the uh, the airship miniatures. These are large miniatures compared to the other uh, the other miniatures in the game. Um, they come in the seven player colors. You can see one right here. Okay. And they've got little decks here that you're going to be able to stack resources or units on and move them around the board. Um, what is interesting here with these, and it's just a minor observation, is one thing that is very distinctive about the Scythe is that all the um, factions have very unique uh, robots or mechs and uh, um, hero characters. And these are all identical except in color. So there's no unique characteristic or flavor to these. Um, so it's kind of a missed opportunity. It's probably easier to get it out that way, um, to do it that way, but still kind of let down. And then we've got, let's see, mounting pegs for the miniatures so they don't actually sit on the board. So in kind of an X-wing fashion, looks like you got seven posts and seven bases. And you're gonna put post in the base and then put the miniature on the post. Okay. And they're gonna stand up and around the board. So that's pretty cool. They're not keyed. They're just a cylinder going into a, into a hole. And if you push them in too tight, they go in there pretty good. All right, so you're gonna get your miniatures. You're gonna get the bases and the posts. Let's see, there's extra bags, in case you want to store something in bags. Alright, then we get some extra cards here. And this is a resolution, I guess. We have Bombard, Bounty, Siege Engine, Distract, Espionage, Blitz, Blitzkrieg, Land Rush, you know. I'm sure the rules will tell you what these mean. But you use some cards. They're very nice oversized cards. Uh, they look like they appear to be linen, but they don't have that rough texture that linen has. So they move really well. They just, you kind of look close. It looks like it's a faux linen finish on them, if that matters to you. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. They're numbered one through six, and then eight. And then you get these two guys. So hopefully that is the way it's supposed to work. We've got the backstory for the wind gamut. Mankind has long been confined to travel by land and sea, but a new technology has emerged from the greatest mines in Eastern Europa, airships. Dun, dun, dun. And when an airship hits an iceberg, it's really, really trying. So you're going to get a rule book. You get an Automa rule book. Yay, Automa. The seven airships stands an achievement sheet. Your box. Let's keep digging. See what else we get here. This is the 
bottom of that instruction sheet. Achievement sheet. The first winners or players with $100, $100 or more for each resolution tile. It's the log there. Mark their uh, victory down for all posterity. All right, so we got some punch. Oh, this is interesting. Let's see how this works. We have punch out cards, tiles. There's four per sprue. And then they punch out, distract, see ginger and bad. Okay, these match the cards that we found earlier. Again, the beautiful artwork, man. There's an art book for this that came with the uh, collector's edition that you can order separately. It's, man, such beautiful art. All right, so these are the eight tiles. Apparently seven, when I was counting the cards there, seven is toll. It does not get a card. And then we also have these numbered 12 through 16, backwards, and these are also kind of green versus the red, and then these are the Automa cards, let's see, let's go back to our cheat sheet, just to make sure, it's beautifully produced, just a little confusing. All right, there's seven Autumn Airship cards. We'll have to figure that out when you read the rules. I guess these are the Autumn cards, right? So they got the Autumn logo. And there are eight of them. So that means why they said seven, I have no idea. But I'm sure the rules are going to explain everything just right. Stegmeier, or, uh, Jamie Stegmeier, Stonemeyer Games, does a great job producing these things. And the Automa Factory does a really great job creating the solo AIs. So it'll all clear up and be less confusing than I am right now. So, you're going to get these eight Automa cards. You're going to get the Automa instruction rules. You're going to get an achievement sheet, which does feel to have a little kind of a textured finish. So you can cherish it and frame it and do something with it. You're going to get the wind gamut backstory and rules. Get the, uh, what are these called? You're going to get the uh, 16 airship tiles, 8 resolution tiles. So I'm really confused here. So it says we have 16, we have 8 resolution tiles, which we do have. And then you're going to have 16 airship tiles, which we do have. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Okay, and I know many of you just said, yeah, yeah, you're an idiot. These are the 16 resolution tiles. Those in there. These are the Automa cards. Da, da, da. These are for the Automa. That would make sense. Seven Automa cards. And it can't use, obviously, the toll option so get those you get six stands or seven stands and pegs you get some baggies and get seven equal different colored airship large marchers and that is what is going to be in the box if you pick up the wind gambit expansion the next to last uh, expansion for scythe um, the last one will be coming out in quarter three. This one I'll go back together. We'll just put it together like this. Thank you again for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.
Oh, 